I'm just shocked with three gameplay patches in and they still haven't fixed. So th this is kind of the reason why I, I tweeted yesterday saying like, oh, you know, another gameplay patch. What's your thoughts? I'm a bit confused with the recent gap, with the five gameplay patches that we've had. Like, I don't think they've addressed some of the core issues that we have on the game right now. Uh, you know, I still don't understand. I still can't fathom why they introduced this automatic AI press and automatic overload ball side in the depth. Right, the automatic overload ball side is just there, but the depth of 46 and above to get this automatic AI press. I don't understand why it's built into that system. It, to me, it doesn't make sense. Like, if we're going to make a tactic, if you want an automatic AI press, it shouldn't be in depth. It should be here. I mean, this system's so, like, just terrible anyway. You know, they've, they've really pulled back on the tactics and what you can do. But I don't understand why does this depth now give an automatic AI press? If, if you don't want it, you run 45 depth and below. If you do want it, you run 46 and above. Where? Why? Where? Like, why is that in there? That's what I don't understand. That's where I get a bit like, why have they why have they done that? So they've not touched that. They're not going to change it out of that. And that's that's is what it is. But then what I don't understand is so far why they haven't gone okay yeah this press is a little bit strong people are really struggling to play through the middle they have to go to the wings every single time so what we're now going to do is if you run 46 depth and above we're now going to make it so that your stamina drain is 10 percent increase on what it is normally the still need to patch finishing as well so I, I can't comment on finishing inside the 18 yard box because i run precision shooting i see a lot of complaints about finishing inside the 18 yard box shots going wide uh, hitting the woodwork straight down a goalkeeper's throw all these like things that you think should be finishing you know your body angles right positions right and then it just goes wide i can't comment on that because i run precision shooting and if you run precision shooting you'll probably feel the same way that i am that inside the 18 yard box finishing is consistent man it's so fine like there's no problem with finishing in fc24 if you run precision shooting so i that's a conversation i can't have because i don't run assisted shooting you know also, if my opponent wants to run down the wing and pass it back for a tapping, good luck to him. It's fine. I just don't think it's good for the game to have such a strong attack in play. And other any play styles drastically worse. But, I mean, what other play styles are drastically worse? You can drive the byline. You can cross the ball. You can shoot from range. Shooting inside the 18-yard box on precision shooting is good. The only thing I would argue is not great on this video game is first-time passes. When you, like, it seems like you have to have someone with a ticky-tacker play style. So you can't just, like, you know, Odegaard can't just lay a first-time pass into Declan Rice if he doesn't have the tiki tacker play style. I don't know if he does. Does he? No, he doesn't. So Odegaard can't really do, like, first-time passes. You know, that quick kind of give-and-goes, you know? How's the learning curve for the shoot? I don't know. I've, I've had it all last year. For, it probably took me, like, three days, really. Oh, hey, Simmer. You well? What is precision shooting? Basically, you get more power uh, on your shots, and if you aim correctly, you score. Like, you hit the target, and, and you get a good shot off. The problem is, is that most players don't aim correctly you know you know i think the 71 depth could a lot of people to have constantly switched flanks i think the whole tactics needs overall yeah and then it's, it's not the 71 depth that causes you people to switch flanks what causes you to switch flanks is the automatic overload ball side for sale which means if you break the half into basically if you if you break the pitch into two sections one and two like that if the ball's in section one literally everyone's players will all move into section one on the opposing team they'll really congest that side of the half so then your only option is is to go okay i need to get out of this i now need to switch it over to like you know that bottom half of the pitch and that's that automatic overload ball side they bought him yeah no he's done is it worth lining position shooting if you complain about shooting inside the 18 yard box yeah definitely definitely is this is, i think this is where one of my issues lies at the minute i'm not defending fc24 i think there's many problems with this game I don't like the fact, like, I'm fine for this conversation. So I had this with a chat with a guy on Twitter yesterday. Attacking AI movement is terrible. It's terrible. Defensive AI movement is very good. Attacking AI movement, terrible. How do, like, if it's bad, my solution, you know, me as a content creator that tries to help people get better is I go, okay, this isn't very good on the game. Is there any ways we can make it better? Yes. Okay. What is it, Al? Well, we can tap L1 to trigger a runner. But then the runner only runs in a straight line. Yeah, that's not great. They should be dynamic. They should be moving. They should be angling the way that you want. 
So now what do we do? Okay, well, we can actually do that with creative runs. So I can tap the L1 button. I can flip the right stick the way that I want them to run. And then they'll run in that diagonal run. Is it still great? Is it still perfect? Absolutely not, because they're still only running that diagonal run across. Now, what about a player lock? Could we do that? Do I have time on the ball to be able to manipulate that run in the way that I want? Yeah. So if we have tools to make something better, we use it while also saying to EA, attacking AI isn't good enough. You need to make it better. I shouldn't have to do all these things in quote unquote to, to be able to get just normal sort of runs that you get in football. But then this is where I find it interesting. People don't want defensive AI to be good. They want it to be terrible. They don't like, you know, AI movement. But then in the attack, they don't want they don't want to do it themselves. They want to just let the game do it for them. So that's where I get a little bit like, well, hang on a minute. What are we wanting? Do we want any sort of movement from AI and make it a completely manual game? Or do we want heavily assisted movement? You know? Yeah, a lot of people do have rants every year, William. But that's because, you know, a lot of their points are valid. That, that's the thing, right? Which kind of comes into it. Um, right. So where was I? So this is the way I feel special. Let's grab 10 FC players, okay? Just 10 normal FC players. Eight of them have probably been playing for the last five years. I think people slowly start to get a bit bored of the repetitive same sort of content. As in, you load up a team, you know, you start your team, maybe you do an RTG, maybe you trade. Oh, it's a new promo on Friday. Oh, let's do this SBC. Oh, let's do this objective. Oh, let's get our seven wins in rivals. Oh, let's play foot champs. And then rinse and repeat. Like, it is the same each week in, each week out. And that's not a problem. You know, that, that isn't a problem, that it's the same each week. You know, the, the core structure is there. That's how I feel. I don't think that's a problem. Where the issue then comes into it is, what's the point of engaging in said content if people aren't enjoying the actual video game, which is the gameplay? And this is where I think EA are never going to get it right and the community is never going to be happy because everyone wants different things. Everyone wants different things. And, you know, you you can argue, oh, 71 depth and this automatic AI press from 46 depth and above is, is killing the game. And then all the cutbacks. But then if it's not cutbacks, it's going to be Travellers. If it's not Travellers, it's going to be reverse Elasticos in the 18-yard box. Like, everyone, it, there's always going to be these go-to ways, right? You're never going to get this complete sort of balanced football game. And that is on EA to try and replicate that. But I don't think that's ever going to happen. I think what EA are trying to do is dabble in the realism simulation, you know, side of the game and then the arcade game. And it's leaning, you know, it, it, they're kind of in between and floating in between. And I don't think that's very good. And then obviously the majority of their money that they get is obviously from packs. And how do you make sure that people that keep buying packs It's you try and make the game players even as balanced as possible in the sense of person that's in Division 4 doesn't want to just keep getting destroyed every game so that ai try and assist you you know the defensive ai people will say defending's harder in the 1v1 in the manual jockey yeah it's harder but the defensive ai is ridiculously broken van dyke covers out lanes he gets into blocks that you don't even control so then they, they kind of introduce that side of thing as well you know worth noting content creators only make about one percent of the player base majority of people yeah and i think that's true as well george you know like the majority of the core player base the, the actual ones that just load up every now and then, maybe buy some points here and there. From what I kind of gauge, don't mind this video game. You know, it's just that everyone goes wide and cut back. Yeah, but I, this is what I don't understand. What's the problem with that? Because as I've said, if it's not cutbacks, it's going to be something else. Like what, what? when people say, I don't like the cutbacks, I don't want the cutbacks. Okay, what do you want then? Like... Because unfortunately, football will always have a quote-unquote meta, even in the real-life game. But like, you go and watch City, man, they drive cutbacks all the time. Like, what, what do we want? You know, what do we want? Afternoon, Ali. I stopped complaining about the game. I simply stopped playing and buying packs because the game doesn't entertain me. It irritates me, so I stopped playing. So I know that, yeah, I don't care about my plates, my friend. And that is the right way to go about it, Lewis. If you don't like the game, don't play it. And don't support it. Simple as that. Really? You're not forced to play a video game. Like, it's a video game. If you don't enjoy it, if you really, really dislike it and it makes you sad and you don't enjoy it, do something else with your time. Life's too short, man. Life's too short. In past years, I'd agree that the casual enjoy FIFA this year. I don't believe it's true. I think everyone's in the same boat. The game is not enjoyable. But what? why, Armin? What's different this year? What's so different this year that you think 
makes it so much worse, in your opinion, mate. It's boring and predictable going down the wing. Okay, but th this is what I don't understand, Nismo. If it's boring and predictable and people are going down the wing, it's easy to defend then. Advanced defend, shoulder barge. Use partial team press, cover off the cutbacks. Don't give them up the wing. Do you know what the opponent's going to do over and over and over and over and over again? You can defend it, no? You can defend it, no? You're forced to play one-dimensional, 71 depth, run down the wing and wait for the cutback. I wouldn't mind the cutbacks if I was able to play the way I want to play, which is building up the play. So this is the thing, Armin. You say that. You are forced to play one-dimensional, 71 depth, run down the wing and wait for the cutback. I wouldn't mind the cutbacks if I was able to play the way I want to play. Why are you not allowed to play the way that you want to play? You are allowed to play the way that you want to play. You might not win as many games, but you are allowed to do that. So what are you valuing more? Your fun on the video game or winning? If you want to play the way that you want to play for fun, go and enjoy it. Go and play the way that you want to play. You might not win as many games, but that's fine. It, like, you can't have it. You are never going to get a world where you get to play the way that you want to play and get the most wins in that play style. That's the whole point of metas, that they shift and change, you know? In my opinion, I really feel like this year there's a much higher skill gap so that the lower level FIFA players aren't enjoying the game since they made it slightly more manual. I don't think they have made it slightly more manual though, Rajij, because if you... It basically, when you think about it, this year technically it's the only time where it's more manual is in the 1v1 stand-up department in the jockey. Because dribbling's so much better, you have to be a bit more proactive in defending, right? You have to tackle, you have to be stronger. But then... The automatic AI press that you get is one of the most heavy AI things we've ever had. So then it makes it like super easy to get the ball back because you're not having to do it yourself. It's just doing it. Breaking down defenses with passing will be ideal instead of cutbacks feels much more rewarding. But it, just, it doesn't make sense though, noisy. Breaking down defenses with passing would be ideal instead of cutbacks. Correct me if I'm wrong, for you to get into a cutback position, you've broke down the defense. You may have done it with passing. You may have done it with controlled sprint. You may have drove down the byline and got a free man in the box and you broke their defense. No? Wouldn't say you broke it down, just that AI doesn't track back. But, okay. So th this is where I get really confused, I think. Um, who said that? Sorry. Uh, wild, you know. This is what this... Wouldn't say you broke it down, just the AI doesn't track back. Okay, so what you're saying there is you want the AI to track their runners more and to be more proactive, which then means it's less manual, it's more AI assisted, right? Why is everyone complaining about about the high depth then and people pressing the opponent? That's AI, no? Look, wh what do we want? Do we either want a manual game or do we want an assisted game or do we want a balance in between? Where are we sitting? Where are we sitting? Afternoon DB, you well? I think the main issue, the 45 depth uh, lever is absolutely no time and space to actually do anything. Yeah, I'd agree with that. The middle of the pitch is way too compact right now, which means you have to just get it out wide, right? But you haven't broke down the defense though, doing a cutback. You're exploiting a defensive negligence encoding. That is a fact that AI switch off when the opponent reaches the byline. The goalkeeper doesn't even react. I mean, it's not a fact that they don't because... Getting to the byline doesn't just equal you scoring a goal, does it, Armin? But you getting to the byline and looking for a pass back off a cross doesn't mean that Van Dijk is just going to go, oh, here you are, have have the cut back nice and easily. Yes, are they, are they strong? Yeah, 100%. But are there ways around it? Yeah, with advanced defending and with partial team press or right stick switching and moving the player yourself, you know? But I, I don't understand how you can say you haven't broke the defence down. If you've got into the byline on the edge of the six yard box like you know on the six yard box and you're looking for a cutback you've broke through the opponent's defense but i would argue you don't see hector bellerin playing a 50 yard crossfield pass do you so if you want the automatic overload ball side not a problem but you can't allow fullbacks and center backs to play these crazy crossfield passes they're just not just not legit you know